was actually quite impressed with uh, with the, the level of professionalism of the, of the police officers that I met. And I would like to thank the Commissioner, the Senior Police Officer, and all of you members of the Fiji Police Force for the work that you've done so far. It has not been easy, particularly in this short time, uh, particularly through the elections period, during the campaign period, the conduct of the elections, and obviously the transition of the government, and uh, and then for the security environment to be calm and quiet, and that's all I've been getting. And that's all Fiji has been experiencing, despite all the political comments, the skirmishes that's happening out there, you know, in the media and in social media. The law and all the situation has been calm and quiet. And I would like to thank you all most sincerely for that. I would like to thank the Fiji Police Force. I would like to thank the Republic of Fiji Military Forces, being the enablers for this on the ground to allow the Fijian people to express their political will. <laughs> and that has been the outcome of what the government is today, which has given perhaps legitimacy and authority for me to be sitting here talking to you, uh, being your line minister as an elected representative of our parliament. You're not an island, you're not here because of just to be police. You're here for a purpose. And that purpose is service. And there is a procedure, there are laws to follow. Please follow the law. Please follow the law. The law is the only thing you should report to. Yes, you have leaders um, that you report to for work. But when you execute your role as a policeman, the only thing you're answering to on the street is the law. And you should bear that in mind, you'll never go wrong. But let me reassure you again, we appreciate the work you do. Now, Valeo, thank you for the work you've done for Fiji. Today, from when you all came out of Nassau to the day you are now sitting here in the different ranks and the different work that you hold. We, you know, we rest assured Fiji appreciates you, particularly you more so now more than any time before. And I, on behalf of government, would like to tell you that we appreciate the work that you do and we recognize how essential it is to keep it safe and all of them. So we don't keep it.